Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with a physique update of Chris Bumstead. It's been a while since you saw his physique, and it's crazy that this guy is so popular by competing only once a year and not being super active on social media either. And now we can see what he looks like, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. He looks good. He looks really muscular, he looks really uh, full and round, uh, especially compared to what he looked like six weeks ago. This is what he looked like six weeks ago. You can't really see his physique under that baggy t-shirt, but you can see, you can definitely see that he lost a lot of size. What he lost was mainly glycogen and, and water, because he wasn't able to train for a while due to being sick. He was eating much less than usual, and I thought, well, he's already like right there with the weight cap in Classic, so he probably doesn't have to push the weight too much, he can be, you know, smaller, lighter during the offseason, and then, you know, push the gear and the food and everything uh, as the show approaches, but uh, apparently, no, that's not the case, he was just downsized because of, uh, because of being sick for a while, and now he's uh, back, this is him full-blown. Now, as far as what he is using in the off-season, we have no idea. I mean, we heard him talk with Ian Valier, his coach and brother-in-law, and what they are saying is that Chris is only using 500 mix of tests per week during the off-season, if that much. So he's going really light in the off-season with the gear. Uh, they say he never used insulin or GH, and uh, yeah, basically this is what he looks like on low amounts of gear. And I don't know, he's probably like eating proper I mean, a lot of protein, and he's probably like training very hard. I can see the stories and, and the videos that he's posting. So he is training hard, and uh, yeah, I mean this is guy, this is the guy that turned pro when he was like 21, 22, something like that. He was very young, and he turned pro in the open. So if he continued pushing, you know, like Ian Wallier is pushing right now. He would have been much, much bigger right now. He does have the genetics to be a big guy, to be an open bodybuilder. He just doesn't want to push it to that extreme. You know, he's not like one of those guys like myself, for example, who have to push everything to get somehow to the classic weight cap. Right now, I am 25, 30 pounds close to reaching the classic weight cap. And this is what it looks like when you have to push things to be a classic physique guy. Chris Bumstead, though, on the other side, is a guy that is my age. And this is what he looks like when he's taking it easy, basically. So he is one of those guys that could be a good open pro. Maybe not like the best open pro because of the arms. You know, all open pros have like sick arms. And Chris has pretty weak arms. But if he wanted, like, he could have been really good in the open as well. Even now, with this, with this size that he has... If he just did a little bit different prep approach, you know, if he was trying to stay full, not super shredded, not like go down in weight to make the weight for Classic, I think he will still do very well in any open pro show. Uh, I think he could be like, uh, not really any, maybe not like Arnold Classic or Mr. Olympia, but in most top shows, he would be like in top 5. Where in the top 5, I'm not sure, but he's in that, he, he's that big actually, you know, and he's that complete and that good. So he could do that. In this caption here, he talks about the ice baths and sauna that he's doing. He starts the caption by uh, saying beefy bumps recovery day. And I'm not sure if he means uh, beefy like uh, beefy he's big, you know, like he has a lot of beef, muscle, mass. Or he talks about being busy, you know, making fun of his lisp like uh, when he sells that pre-workout, Tavage or whatever. I'm not sure. Anyways, I think he's talking about being beefy, being big. And he is big, right now he is really muscular, he is really massive, uh, the conditioning also looks pretty good, like you can see the veins and the biceps and the forearms, the midsection is the area where he puts on the most amount of uh, body fat, not a lot of body fat, but like that's the area where he doesn't get super shredded so easily, and uh, right now his abs are looking fine, like he doesn't really have a six pack, Maybe if he flexed under a good lighting shade, maybe it would look much better, but you can still see that there isn't a lot of fat, like, his conditioning is good, and from what I heard from Ian Valier on a podcast, basically Chris is not really pushing food in the offseason, he's eating healthy, he's eating some protein, uh, usually like uh, chicken in, in, in a tortilla wrap, something like that, like, he's eating clean all year round, not pushing things, enjoying life, enjoying the offseason, focusing on business, training hard, and this is what he looks like, and he looks pretty good. When the time for Mr. Olympia prep comes, he's gonna look insane. And yeah, he's gonna be in Mr. Olympia easily, as many times as he likes, probably.
Alright, next up we have Phil Heat with a physique update or a training video, whatever, and we have quite a few of those lately. And guys, come on, do not tell me you don't think he's gonna be competing again. Look at this freaking guy, look at the arms, look at how big he is right now. Do you seriously do not think that there is a chance of him competing again? Yeah, I know, that talk with Dan Solomon, it seems like they were talking about him commentating the show, but I don't know about that, I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe they just don't want people to know, maybe they want to make it a surprise, I don't know, but look at him here, like, he's a smart guy, you know, carrying this much muscle year round is not, is not smart, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely looking a toll on his body, he knows it, we all know it, would he do this just for the Instagram, just for the appearances, maybe guest posings, expos, I don't know, interviews, whatever, me personally, I don't think so, look, he's saying that he's on TRT only and that's it, and yeah, I know that he's the most genetically blessed bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding, probably, one of the, but when he was super, when he was active, he was doing more than TRT, definitely, so his body, I don't think he would respond at this point in his life, in his age, on just TRT this well. I seriously doubt that this is only 200 mg of testosterone per week. Feel heat, yes, as much as genetically blessed he is, he is 42, guys, 42. At that age, after blasting year, your entire career, going down to 250 mix of test and looking sick like this, having this freaking 3D, look at the biceps, the separation in the middle, look at the delts, I mean, this guy is not known for width, but he's wide right now, he's just big and full and lean, yeah, I seriously doubt that he's doing what he says he's doing, and I'm thinking he's probably doing more, and he's planning on competing, yes, that's my opinion, if you guys disagree, you can tell me in the comment section below, but I believe that we'll see Phil Heath on stage at least once again, and if his stomach is fixed, that's the only question, look at his waist right here, this is also a recent update, it looks much smaller, and if it is fixed, who can, who can beat Phil Heath, really, from all the bodybuilders today, like, nobody is that genetically blessed, if he fixed his stomach, it'll be the end of anybody, Big Ramy, Brandon Curry, Heidi Chupan, Nick Walker, whoever, Phil would destroy them all if his stomach was in check, but enough speculation for this video, whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below, I guess soon enough we will find out what Phil Heath's plans are, and probably what he's doing as far as gear as well. Jeremy Buendia is coming back, as he says, for the fifth title, he won the Mr. Olympia in men's physique for four times, and he wants it back, he wants that fifth title, though in this video, he's posing like a bodybuilder, he asked the audience for 25,000 likes, if he gets that, he's competing again, and guess what, he got it, even if he didn't get it, I think he would be competing, I don't think this is the only reason he's gonna be competing, because he got those comments, I think he started the prep already, and this is basically just to hype uh, him up, as you can see, he shared uh, the, 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 the results, the 25,000 freaking comments, and uh, so he will compete again. The only question seems to be when, he asked us this year, 2022 or 2023, of course, everybody will say 2022, and I'm pretty sure he already started prepping, because he looks pretty good in this video. I'm just really curious, why is he posing like a bodybuilder if he wants to compete in men's physique? I'm just really disappointed, at the same time as I am thrilled with him coming back, I would love to see him back on stage, uh, even in men's physique, I think I would watch that if he came back, uh, because, you know, he, he was a good men's physique bodybuilder, and now, after taking some time off, the, the division kind of changed, so it's gonna be an interesting thing to see him come back, he looks good, again, he looks, uh, you know, as good as he can look, with that pack there, though, he tore that right pack, which is the reason why he lost his last Mr. Olympia he competed at, I mean, the reason wasn't only the torn pack, uh, it was him being off, and he was off because he injured himself, now he, he got back like the size, the fullness, of course, as the prep goes on, he's gonna look better and better, uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know how much will that pack there hurt him, again, this is man's physique, this is not bodybuilding, it's very important to be symmetrical, but I don't, I, I believe he can hide it, you know, it's not like, you can see it mainly when you do a front double bicep, and that's not a pose in man's physique, uh, those guys don't even pose, 
uh, they they just stand there like with their arms relaxed at the side and uh, it's all about like the abs um, uh, the the small waist the shoulders being wide and the chest being uh, good looking and full so with that pack there he might not look the best and i know that the, the division progressed so much those guys are freaking monsters right now much bigger actually than he is i think but it's gonna be an interesting comparison, you know, him like the old school man's physique champion versus the new guys. It's gonna be an interesting thing and now it's pretty much confirmed. I am just still hoping that that video that he posted uh, posing like a bodybuilder means that he will actually switch and do the classic physique. I would love to see that. I would love that definitely more than seeing him in man's physique. It would definitely be so interesting to see him do all the, all the bodybuilding poses in, in classic physique. Um, yeah, I know he probably won't do it, but I'm just still hoping. And also, I know that Jeremy is bodybuilder at heart. He first started as a bodybuilder. He didn't do that well, but then Man's Physique came up and he realized he was really good for it, so he switched to, to, to Man's Physique. But I think he should come back and, and do what his heart wants. And that is classic physique, I'm sure. Look at him here posing like a bodybuilder. He enjoys it. He doesn't like competing in men's physique, he likes to win, everybody loves to win, and I think Jeremy Buendia especially loves winning, but even if he wouldn't win in classic physique, I think he would still be happier, because he would get to do what he loves, and posing looks like something Jeremy loves, so Jeremy, reconsider this if you're watching, I would love it, I'm sure a lot of your fans would love to see you in classic physique, posing like a freaking bodybuilder, and you would do well. I don't think he would beat Chris Bumstead or like top 5, whatever, but he would do well. What do you guys think? How well would Jeremy Buendia do in Classic Physique? And would you like to see him over there or again in Man's Physique, a comeback? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below. Oh yeah, and we got a quitter. I'm really disappointed at uh, Jeremy uh, Potwin, another Jeremy uh, that is competing in Man's Physique that I would love to see in Classic Bodybuilding, in Classic Physique, because he has the genetics for it. And I'm really disappointed. I, I hyped this guy up when I saw him, when he was saying repeatedly, post after post, that he's gonna do the classic physique. And now he is prepping for man's physique again. Come on, man. If you say something, if you promise something to your fans, see it through. Don't give up. And the reason why he's giving up is because he thinks his legs are not ready yet. At least that's what he told me. And when I made those videos, I, I shared this photo with you guys saying that his legs may have even gotten bigger than they should be. They looked pretty good, pretty big, I thought that's it, like he can do classic now, he has legs to match his upper body. But he said no, he thinks his legs are not really big enough, and here is the most recent update where he says that his legs are losing size the fastest. And that's normal, that's normal if you start competing like after half a year of offseason. If you want your legs to grow, you need to give them time, you need to stay, you need to keep them big for longer, you know, for, for a year. And then you can do the classic physique and your legs will be big. If you're doing like the mass, the mass gain phase for three months and your legs blow up and you start dieting, they, they will disappear. Because that's hardly new muscle, that's glycogen, your legs are not used to training them very hard and like eating at the same time, so they fill up. Or whatever happens, I'm not sure, but I know that the new muscle you add quickly, the, the quicker you add it, the quicker you lose it. So when you want to have a, you know, improved body part, you need to get it big and keep it big for a while so it wouldn't go away when you start dieting. And if you really wanted to do the classic physique, you should have waited for a while, at least for a year, and then do the classic. You can't grow in classic in three months or four months in the off season. You have so many freaking followers, you're super popular guy, if you say you're gonna do something, your fans are expecting you to see it through, so do it. You shouldn't just change your mind and do whatever you like, that's how you lose credibility. I don't know, maybe I'm too harsh on this guy, maybe he's just not feeling ready for classic physique, but as a fan, I'm a big fan of Jeremy Potvin, as a fan, I'm really not happy with his decision, I don't want to see him again in man's physique, this guy has a classic physique, and he should do the classic. So guys, make sure to leave the comments down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.